Hey everybody and uh, welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be sharing data ingestion architecture uh, essentially for building data warehouse. So this is the architecture that we follow and I'm gonna provide you some high level, top level architecture design that uh, we are using to get data from DynamoDB, SQL Server, MongoDB, S3 and essentially populating our mini data warehouse in Aurora uh, Postgres. So let me show you the architecture. Hopefully uh, you guys uh, can see my screen. So the architecture is fairly, um, I would say simple. Um, we have various sources. Again, these sources are in the various AWS account, right? Uh, because each team has, um, you know, we have implemented a control tower, right? So, you know, uh, so some of the data, for example, SQL Server is in one AWS account, DynamoDB is in another AWS account, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So primarily, we pull data from SQL Server, Mongo, Dynamo, and S3. So uh, coming uh, to, uh, I'm, I'm gonna cover the Dynamo part. Again, I have a video on how to you know, load uh, data from uh, Dynamo to Aurora using Glue. So what we do is we essentially crawl over the data. Uh, basically, DynamoDB will be acting as a source. We crawl over this and essentially populate the catalog. So in Glue, we create a database and essentially um, once the crawler is completed, it's gonna identify the schema and fields and it's just gonna create a table. We follow the same pattern um, for a SQL Server, right, um, an RDS, right? So we again run a crawler and essentially the crawler will essentially uh, crawl over uh, the, the essentially tables and it's gonna populate that in the Glue catalog. So once we have these tables, right, and the same goes for MongoDB as well. For MongoDB, again, um, uh, we are using streams to get in, get the data into S3. So, you know, we do have data in S3, right? So what we do is we essentially run crawlers on S3, we, which essentially will, uh, again, identify all the tables and again, uh, populate um, the metadata, right? And same goes for S3 as well. So these are some of the various sources where we gather data from, for example, SQL Server, Mongo, Dynamo, and S3. Once we have these catalog, and now the problem here is, again, as I mentioned, we implemented Control Tower. These sources are there in various AWS accounts. So hence, uh, we cannot have a Glue database in, you know. So basically what we did is, um, you know, in, for example, SQL Server, let's say it's, it is an AWS call account one, right? So we make uh, a Glue database with whatever the same name as of source. And then essentially whatever tables we need, we are gonna essentially populate that. Now this DynamoDB is, is basically on another AWS account, as I said. This is because since we implemented Control Tower, right, um, each team and each application manages their own AWS resources. So now we gotta pull data from these various AWS resources, right? So uh, accounts, sorry. So hence what we do is we create these Glue database in each AWS account through um, serverless framework or cloud formation. And once that has happened, what we, what we do is basically, once it's catalog, we have event bridge. Um, so again, uh, in each account, we have to set up a schedule. Uh, then what we do is we use a Glue workflow or Glue triggers, right? So essentially we will um, uh, fire these Glue jobs the glue jobs are gonna read from the catalog uh, and the job is to essentially put the data into the warehouse. Again, the warehouse is in the data team account, right? So again, all, all these glue jobs are gonna run in this various AWS account, account one, account two, account three, account four, and they're gonna eventually populate the same warehouse. Now, the way we do that is, um, again, um, we use a JDBC connector in glue. Uh, again, um, I'll make a project video on entire uh, hands-on on you know from beginner to you know and how to you know develop all these stuff right so basically uh, we use jdbc connection right to connect to the so uh, connect to the database and uh, basically after that once that is done uh, we uh, you know populate this glue database and once that is done we have these glue job that that are going to read from the catalog and essentially put the data into the amazon aurora landing table uh, again, these all glue jobs are scheduled uh, using workflow or glue triggers, right? And once the cron fires up, it's gonna fire up all these workflow and essentially they'll be reading the data from various sources, that is Dynamo, etc., etc. So all from each catalog, it's gonna read the data and it's gonna populate the Aurora, uh, Aurora Postgres um, uh, uh, database, right? So here we are trying to go for an ELT model uh, that is extract load transform. 
so we extracted the data from various source we load um, the data into the landing so the concept here is the landing um, the table name and the schema is absolutely same as of source right so once we have the data in the landing then uh, using stored procedure we essentially cleanse the data and, and you know uh, you know do perform all that action so the data is staged once the date data is staged uh, it's cleaned uh, you know makes sense we essentially delete all the data in the landing so next next time or the next tomorrow morning the data is again going to load in the landing incremental data and then again the stored procedures are going to take the data and then delete the data anything that is failed any data that is not able to make it through stage it will go into an error tables right those data will be in the error tables for a person to see now once the data is there in the stage what we do is then using again stored procedure that is loaded into um, you know dimensions and fact tables where the business can query uh, various dimensions and, and and you know and uh, fact tables to you know and derive valuable insights such as we have a date dimension which can for example give us the sales uh, in in a week in a month in a year uh, in, you know during holidays etc etc uh, during weekdays during weekends so that's basically a date dimension we also have like um, location dimension right so basically we have various dimensions and the business now can essentially join uh, the fact and the dimension and then essentially query the data uh, uh, right there once they do that they can essentially now um, use aws quick site to connect uh, aurora right and they can uh, present or derive very valuable insights out of the data so again uh, we have a architecture as well for failed jobs anytime a job fails we essentially you know the event will go to the event bridge from there it goes to a lambda function from lambda will essentially broadcast that message to an sns topic and whoever is subscribed will receive that email alert so this is in general the entire architecture looks easy but it is fairly fairly uh, you know a lot of code is there you know because you have to create these glue database glue crawlers uh, connector objects jdbc right we have to work with various aws account pull data from various aws account write uh, glue jobs pyspark uh, set them um, set them on the schedule uh, you know uh, uh, and anything that fails you know alerts are sent they go into the landing from the landing stored procedures are going to run every single day they take the data from landing move it into stage area anything fails that goes into error table uh, once that is done um, you know this these these jobs run and they keep putting data on the landing so in aurora if you observe once you have it in state then we load it into dimension and facts so this is the entire big picture of the warehouse we essentially decided to choose um, aurora right um, that that was the choice that we made internally um, uh, again based on several factors and 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 stuff but this is how we essentially get data from various sources dynamo db sql server s3 glue essentially i would say really made our life much more easier because uh, through glue uh, it was very easy for get 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 the data from various sources using connectors they made it easy they made essentially scheduling jobs easy using workflows and trigger so everything they aws made our life so so easy alerting was made easy right we had uh, you know anytime the job fails we send alerts uh, you know to the requested parties that hey take a look at that something must have changed the schema or a new field must have been added right so this is the entire broad picture on how we essentially get the data from various sources using glue we use glue heavily for crawlers for uh, you know uh, we use bookmarks as well right everything what i'll do is uh, i will again as i said this requires a lot of time on my side as well I'll make a big project this will be like 4 500 lines of code which will have uh, I'll essentially mimic two source dynamo db and s3 we'll essentially write glue database we're going to write crawlers uh, we're going to populate the, the the glue database the the, the schema all right for the source once we done that then we can write glue job they're going to take the data from these sources we're going to schedule them anytime it fails we're going to write um, all this infrastructure code we're going to write through cloud formation we can write everything right so that's that and then it essentially will put the data into aurora the landing table from there uh, we'll try to you know again uh, again based on how how much time we have we'll try to you know load this data from the landing to the stage and then into dimension table so we'll do a very simple stuff like you know some dummy data so to understand the entire broad picture here okay 
So that's it. Hope you enjoyed some insights. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I will be seeing you in the next upcoming videos.